Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to improve the performance of Space Marine 2 on the Steam Deck using an FSR 3 mod from Luke FZ, which I have linked in the description, and you will need to join his Patreon in order to obtain this. I will be guiding you through step by step on how to install this. So, from gaming mode, we want to go to desktop mode, and let's get started. Go to your home directory. Want to go on .steam and you can find this by clicking the three lines and show hidden files. So we want to go .steam, Steam, scroll down, Steam Apps, Common, and this is the place where all of your Steam games that have been installed and are installed are located. So let's scroll down. Space Marine 2, Client PC, Root, Bin, PC. And now this is the main directory where everything is installed. I have some extra files here because I've been experimenting with mods, so don't worry about those. Let's go to your downloads folder and make sure that you have the 10.4 version of his FSR2, FSR3 mod, 2.20 because Space Marine 2 uses FSR 2.2. So let's go inside. And to start with, I like to grab the ASI file, the winmm.dll, the winmm.ini. We want to right click and copy. And go back to our PC folder. And paste all three items apply to all, overwrite. You won't have to do that. I just have to do it because I've already got the mod there from previously. Go back to the FSR2, FSR3, 220 folder. You can collapse optional NVNGX if you like. NVNGX.dll, copy, paste. OK, go back, copy this, enable signature override dot reg, which stands for registry, which is a standard Windows registry file. OK, now we want to go to the Discover Store, and we want to obtain Proton Tricks. So Steam and X, load up the keyboard. And you should be able to find it just by typing Proton. And there you go, second one. I've already got it downloaded. So you'll have a download icon, download. Once we've launched, we want to scroll down or until you find Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2, 2183900. Click OK. Now Proton Tricks can take a moment to load. It makes you think that it's not loading, but it really is, just the program is slow at times. Proton Tricks has loaded, and what you want to do, keep it selected on the default wine prefix. Click OK. Now simply run regedit and press OK. Now this may look familiar if you've used regedit on Windows before. Now. I'm just going to click Registry, Import Registry, and because I placed our Enable Signature Override.reg on the desktop, I'm going to click here, Home, Deck, Desktop. And you can see I've got .reg selected for files of type, Enable Signature Override selected, press Open. You'll get a confirmation message that it was successfully added to the registry. Click OK, close, and close Proton Tricks several times. Now we want to go back to Steam. In Steam, we want to find Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. Click Manage, Properties, and we need to type this launch command exactly as shown. 
which is wine DLL overrides equals quotation mark win mm equals n comma b quotation mark space percentage sign command in capitals percentage sign now once you've typed that as shown press x and we want to launch the game once once the game is loaded we just press b and quit to desktop if it hangs here then you may have to restart the Steam Deck or connect a USB-C keyboard and press Alt and F4. Alternatively, you can do this in gaming mode and then return to desktop mode to make sure it closes properly. Closing the game, let's minimize Steam and go back to our folders to where Space Marine 2 is installed. And under our fsr2fsr3.asi file, we'll see fsr2fsr3.config.toml. We double click on this, we'll access the config file for the mod. And what we want to do is fake NVIDIA GPU. We want to double click on false, open the keyboard, and type true. Let's double click on true, copy, and under AMD, Unreal Engine. DLSS workaround, replace false with true, and save. Once that's done, close the TOML file after you've saved, and let's return to gaming mode. So back in gaming mode, go on Space Marine 2. Make sure that your launch command is set, otherwise the mod will not work. And simply press play. Now we're in the main menu for Space Marine 2. Let's go to settings. Press RB to video. And under resolution upscaling, we'll have TAA, FSR2, but now we'll have DLSS, which isn't actually DLSS, it's a pass-through for FSR3. So we want to select DLSS and just to start with I'm going to put it on performance, apply and let's get into a game. So now we're in game we can see that our FPS has massively improved from before. If this is the case for you let me know in the comments and let me know how your experience has been with the mod overall. If you're running into any issues, please leave me a comment down below and I'm sure that we can all help each other. Whilst in game, if I just take cover here, and hopefully the enemies don't kill me, what you can do is open the quick access menu, go to manual GPU clock and turn this on. Now we have this set at 1600 MHz and you can see our GPU has just gone down to 70. If I change this to about 1200, see our GPU has gone up to 90% again. And our FPS is remaining as we want it to. Now this is just a little tip. In case you're running into issues, this may help alleviate and increase your FPS in some cases. So give that a try, and if it helps, let me know in the comments. So if you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and share my videos with others. You can also follow me on Twitter, where I post every day, and support the channel through my links in the description. As always, if you have any questions, requests for games, or just want to say hi, please let me know down below. Thank you very much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.